Welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video, we are going to see how to renew the Tamil Nadu Nursing Council registration. So uh, if you uh, studied in uh, Tamil Nadu, uh, you know that your registration is only valid for five years and every five years you have to renew it. And this Tamil Nadu Nursing uh, Council, it is not just um, simply you pay the amount and do the registration. You have to get your CNE registration, CNE like continue nursing education hours for renewing your registration. So it, is, it should be like 150 hours of um, continuous nurses education, nursing education and um, with that credit only you will be able to do the registration. So there are so many agencies who help you to do the renewal but uh, beware of them because some of them they just take the M money because as um, you see like in Karnataka nursing and uh, you know the Telangana nursing and all they don't have to do any uh, nursing education so the renewal is just purely uh, you just pay the amount and they give, send you the certificate something like that so uh, Tamil Nadu nursing it's totally different they are more uh, into like uh, uh, updating your knowledge so for that reason we for, so for the renewal of nursing car, nursing registration you need to have the CNE hours and the CNE hours um, if the, if you're working working then definitely you will be attending some uh, symposiums or some seminars or some, something like that in your workplace so those certificate they will be giving you a certificate after you attend that uh, seminar so you can get that certificate and then you submit it to your uh, like up, uh, upload into your Tamil Nadu nursing council website and they will tell you whether it is approved and whether you will be getting any hours from that okay and if you don't have anything then in their website they have so many um, like educational video or educational PDFs you can attend that one then you attend the question answers at the end of your uh, educational uh, PDF file so and if you attend it more than 70% or 75% then you will be crediting that many hours as so you will be getting the credits um, so with that credit you can apply for your re registration so um, without this continuous nurses education CNE hours Tamil Nadu nursing council is not giving, going to give you a renewal certificate so you have to attend that CNE and then only uh, they will be giving you a renewal certificate so uh, once you attend the CNE it is very easy to get the um, certificate once you get the CNE you just apply for renewal and then I, I think it is like a less than 5000 rupees and uh, you will they will be sending you the certificate as an email to you um, and if you uh, it, you can just uh, print it out and that is the best option you have so if you are worrying like how to do my Tamil Nadu nursing council uh, re re renewal uh, I will go through the steps in my tab so you can see that so I'll go through the steps and I'll show you how to do it okay so I have done my hours uh, like I have 151 hours and now uh, my uh, license is expiring like tomorrow so <laughs> I have my credits already ready so after tomorrow I'll be applying for my registration uh, like re-registration or renewal uh, they will be checking it and giving me with the certificate so meanwhile i submitted my uh, other certificate which i did uh, like uh, as you know if you check my previous videos i had done a gcan course from australia so that course i submitted but it was not mentioned how many hours i um, did the study for so uh, because of that reason it because there was no hours written they told me that Tamil Nadu nursing council told me they cannot they need to know the hours and i found it it is like too much process for me to do so um, i decided let's do the uh, courses whatever the nursing tamil nadu nursing council has given in their website so i just completed that one in uh, and uh, i finished it in one week actually and then um, now i'm waiting for my um, like final stage for registration so without any delay let's go to the video okay so this is the tamil nadu nursing council website so you go for renewal so renewal of registration and license card then you go select your category you go with the RN number and then you do the like I'm not robot thing and click on this one and then you submit and here you can only just give your RN number because if you are a um, RN and uh, like a registered di diploma nurse then they do you have two numbers one is re like registered nurse and one is like registered midwife so uh, you have to you can just put one of the numbers so I am putting here my RN number so my current license will expire in 
See, 30 July 2024, and but I have like total credit hours 151 hours. Uh, so I'll show you my hours. So if you have any hours uh, from your workplace, then you can just request uh, uh, to add missing credit hours. So you can request here. Then they will. like see overseas CNA program so you can have so uh, you can apply that one or you can uh, give for um, anything like um, INC recognized course hours So when you open that one, it will show you uh, like this. So in that you will put the details, your email ID, your phone number and you attach the file. Okay. So the certi you attach the certificate, then you, they will send an OTP, you enter the OTP and then that submit the request. Okay. That's it. So this is the one I submitted. To see whether my um, course was um, like any CNE was um, available. So for me, they sent like dear candidate, there is no hours or CPD mention points mentioned. So they may they rejected my um, request. So I had to do all my education, like all my online education. let's go back you can just do like that see any hours so it will show Tamil Nadu nursing council okay so you sign in here So this is the only problem like once you attended last uh, the module last year then you won't be able to attend it again. So let me tell you how to get your CNE hours. So this is the um, portal for the CNE uh, continuing nursing education. So you select a course from here dosage calculation. So there will be a pre-test okay and then you read all this course like it's like 46 page so you have to read all this 46 not the 46 like you don't have to read the disclaimer acknowledgement and all um but you can read from the measurements okay so then all this the basic um, medication calculations and everything and uh, uh, the drug calculations and after everything you come to see the formulas and everything and 46 page then you read everything and then you go next then it will show you to the post test okay so you go post test then there will be like a one two so sometimes there is like a more than 50 questions sometimes it will be like only uh, 50 questions and you have to uh, get more than um, 50 percent 50 i think 70 or 80 80 percent i think to pass the exam so once you uh, pass the exam uh, you can get the credit so there is like courses like this so the the thing is you can only attend one course at one time so in 2019 when i did renew my certificate i did this once like a wound care lactation nursing all these things i did in 2019 so this year if i have to do the i want to do the same education then i have to pay for it but fortunately there are more education which is available so these things are new here so this year again there is available like courses available and it will be like more than um, 150 hours for sure so this year i did the courses from here so i did like 
if you count like 10 credit from here 10 10 10 5 10 so you can attend the course according to your uh, like uh, how much score you want so if you attend 15 courses of 10 credit hours then it will be like easy for you but sometimes you know um i don't like some topics so i do uh, i did like even five eight credit courses as well so it depends on you you attend the course and then you do the pre-test and there will be a pre-test and there will be a post-test so even the pre-test you it is only just to know your knowledge but it won't like even if you score the uh, 10 out of 10 in pre pre-test uh, still you have to do the uh, whole course and the post-test the pre-test is just for you to know that uh, where you are standing that's it so i'll show the history of my courses so see this is today i july 30 2024 yeah this is today's um say some courses i had to do three or four times and it will show you so totally i completed 33 course in last so this is my second renewal so um, the first renewal i did almost like 10 10 or 11 courses and this time also i did almost the same and uh, total now i have presented renewal credit hours 151 hours so if you see my see this is july 18 2019 i did wound care that time and uh, if i do the same wound care again then i have to pay uh, i don't know how much but we have to pay for it but you don't have to do it you can just there will be courses available so this time it is like you are doing it every five years so by the five year definitely there will be new courses available See, one online module once passed, then you can access the same module only in the next renewal period with processing fee. So, why to pay? You just do check whatever you did last time and uh, do a different one this time. So, it will uh, it will not take any processing fee. So, that's it. So, now I have the... So, if you want to like uh, get the certificate, you can print your certificate as well from here. Um, but I'm not uh, taking... Anyway, it will be there in the website. So, you can print it any, any time if you need. Uh, so that is it about um, the credit hours so once you have the credit hours so this is the Tamil Nadu Nursing Council website and start your renewal so it's select your category so you can either put your RN number or your um, what is that RM number so if you are a GNM nurse you have RN and RM number so you just have to put your one of the number okay and then you check say, say like I'm not a robot and you will type the RN number here so once you do the uh, submit, it will sh uh, tell you what is your current license uh, status. So my current license is started from 31st July 2019 to 30 July 2024. That is today. And I have total credit hours, 151 hours. So at any time, uh, I can um, actually not at any time. Like uh, you can only renew your certificate after your license expire. Okay. So from tomorrow, I can do the renewal.